Well, it, it occurred to me while I was making my last video that I, I haven't really shown off this little gun. And uh, I put this all together for my daughter to use. Uh, basically, it started off life as a run-of-the-mill 1022 CDNN investments.com at uh, Abilene, Texas. Had a really good sale on them. Couldn't pass it up, so... <clears throat> I bought a couple of these. It's the uh, 50th anniversary version. It's got the collector's edition rail and peep sight in the back. And uh, the barrel, of course, from the collector's edition. So it does not have the notch in it, the dovetail for the rear sight. It does have that protected front sight. Post like that. It's not adjustable for height, but the height's pretty much spot on. I don't think you have to worry about that. And uh, so what we did was the factory stock was just too long a pull on, uh, on it for her to be able to use it. So we got this Black Hawk stock and it normally is just black. This is duct tape. There's a recess in the stock and so we decorated it basically with duct tape but if you've got a little kid who happens to be of the uh, boy persuasion there's no reason you can't use maybe camel duct tape in there or just leave it alone but uh, this kind of like pinked it up for her a little bit so it's got that rail right there so we can take the sight you know the optic on and off that's that's a TRS 25 from Bushnell and a really great sight for this little gun it's light it's tiny it's unobtrusive very nice little sight especially for this gun and uh, we could use the peep sight if we want to or we can use the uh, optic if we want to really without any difficulty putting the optic back on a every other solution either involved changing out the optic and pulling off a mounting rail or it would really mess up the uh, alignment of the uh, or the visibility of the iron sights so that's what I found was the best solution get the collector's edition style or the Williams version that has the peep sight with a built-in rail either one of those also got the bolt automatic release here the bolt hold open there it goes all right, so that's from Volkwurzen. I got the uh, stainless one. They have it in black as well. And that, of course, lets you just release it like this. Easy as that. The grip is exceptionally narrow. So it doesn't fill your hand if you're an adult. You could build it up a little bit. But for kids, this is a really good grip. She can really get her hands around that comfortably and, and use it. And, of course, the back is completely adjustable. I've I had a little bit of a rattle. I'm going to just stretch it out a little bit to show you what I did here. Uh, there was a little bit of a rattle before. There isn't anymore because what I did was I took a few lengths of electrical tape. I think it took a total of five. I just went one after another after another and uh, after like five strips or four strips it took that rattle away and it's still you know I mean it's hard to adjust it'll 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 adjust but you really got to push on it but uh but i'd rather have the rattle gone than the easy sliding buttstock and that's about it there really aren't much in the way of mods other than that little safety trick and the duct tape but uh i bought the uh the rail and peep sight and the barrel with the front sight mounted on it already on eBay, found someone who was selling theirs, and it was actually cheaper than like the Nodak Spud version of just the rear rail. And I got the rail, the peep sight, front sight, and barrel for less than you know. But that's the way eBay is. You get lucky sometimes. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have a a little girl that you want to take shooting, or even a little boy, and you just don't want to do the pink zebra business. Uh, the Black Hawk stock, I can highly recommend it. Oh, one last thing, almost forgot. You probably noticed I had a tiny little chunk of rail there. That tiny little chunk of rail, as it turns out, 
On the inside, there's a half-drilled hole. There's one fully drilled hole where a, a mounting stud for a sling normally goes. But just behind it, that's that front one there, just behind it is another one that's half drilled into the frame. And I just finished drilling it and got some slightly longer hardware because uh, the thickness of the stock made me get a slightly longer, I think it's a, maybe a 5 8 inch long hex bolt in there. Obviously they're stainless, they're not black. But now I can mount either a little grip up there, which is kind of far, but more likely a tripod. So I did. I was able to find this really nice tripod. I liked a few things about it. So this is a quick detach tripod. I believe it's from UTG. There it is. All right. So I don't know if you can see that. What number it is? It says uh, 69SQ. And uh, a couple of things I like about it. It's just short enough to use. And it, even at the short setting, it clears the BX25 magazine. But it, when you extend it to the, to the long setting, uh, an adult can use it even at like an indoor gun range off the table. And it, it really helped me sight it in, which is what I was doing today. <clears throat> and the uh, the legs are spring loaded, so you just twist these caps; they pop out like so. And if you need to adjust one for a different height, you bring it back in, tighten the cap, you're good to go. So that's that's a tripod. And the other thing I liked about it: little hands can't get stuck. You know, little fingers won't get stuck on a spring or pinched by anything. All the springs and all the mechanical stuff is inside. The way it deploys... It attaches just like that. Quick detach, very easy. Deploys by pulling down on these. And it locks in place. So, you're good to go. Pull, pull it back down to it's sprung so pull it back down to reattach it and it locks again it's got very positive locking notches right there and that's the that's the little rifle thanks very much for watching